joy at sudden disappointment. Whatever comes, comes from a need, a sore distress, a hurting one. Mary's pain made the baby Jesus. Her womb opened its lips and spoke the word. Every part of you has a secret language. Your hands and your feet say what you've done. And every need brings in what's needed. Pain bears its cure like a child. Having nothing produces provisions. Ask a difficult question and the marvelous answer appears. Build a ship and there be water to float it. The tender throated infant cries and milk drips from the mother's breast. Be thirsty for the ultimate water and then be ready for what will come pouring from the spring. A village woman once was walking by Muhammad. She thought he was just an ordinary literate. She didn't believe that he was a prophet. She was carrying a two-month-old baby. As she came near Muhammad, the baby turned and said, Peace be with you, messenger of God. The mother cried out, surprised and angry. What are you saying? And how can you suddenly talk? The child replied, God taught me first and then Gabriel. Who is this Gabriel? I don't see anyone. He is above your head, mother. Turn around. He has been telling me many things. Do you really see him? Yes, he is continually delivering me from this degraded state into sublimity. Muhammad then asked the child, What is your name? Abdul Aziz, the servant of God, but this family thinks I am concerned with world energies. I am as free of that as the truth of your prophecies. So the little one spoke, and the mother took in a fragrance that let her surrender to that state. When God gives this knowing, inanimate stones, plants, animals, everything, fills with unfolding significance. The fish and the birds become protectors. Remember the incident of Muhammad and the eagle. It happened that as he was listening to this inspired baby, he heard a voice calling him to prayer. He asked for water to perform ablutions. He washed his hands and feet, and just as he reached for his boot, An eagle snatched it away. The boot turned upside down as it lifted and a poisonous snake dropped out. The eagle circled and brought the boot back, saying, My helpless reverence for you made this necessary. Anyone who acts this presumptuously for a legalistic reason should be punished. Muhammad thanked the eagle and said what I thought was rudeness was really love. You took away my grief and I was grieved. God has shown me everything. But at that moment I was preoccupied within myself. The eagle, but chosen one, any clarity I have comes from you. This spreading radiance of a true human being has great importance. Look carefully around you and recognize the luminosity of souls. Sit beside those who draw you to that. Learn from this eagle story. 
that when misfortune comes, you must quickly praise. Others may be saying, oh no, but you will be opening out like a rose, losing itself petal by petal. Someone once asked a great sheikh what Sufism was. The feeling of joy when sudden disappointment comes. The eagle carries off Muhammad's boot and saves him from snake bite. Don't grieve for what doesn't come. Some things that don't happen keep disasters from happening.